My producer buddy Andrew Barr just sent me a text saying, Bro, I heard your song Monster. I bet I can make it better if it was metal. Let's do battle. Battle on, bro. Battle on. Oh. Now here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna send Andrew the official stems to the song, and he is gonna attempt to make it metal. I mean, come on, metal. And while he's working on his version, I'm gonna show you how I made mine. So at the end, we can compare the two versions and see if his metal version is as legit as he thinks it can be. And at the end, you get to comment down below which one was your favorite. What's up, I'm Andrew Barr, and I run the YouTube channel Producing in the Box, and I normally make CCM and metal music. And I think I'm gonna take this song and absolutely kill it by making it metal. Metal. It's got all the bones I need to transform it into something insane. But first, let's listen to the vocal. Hush, I'm the monster hiding under your bed. You should listen to the voice in your head. Or maybe you could join me instead. Cause there's no way you can run. Hush, I'm the nightmare holding on to your dreams. Be careful now if you fall asleep. She's ridiculous. <laughs> nothing is as it really seems. Huh. This could be fun. Monster, monster, now that you're a goner. Welcome to the life. With vocals like that, it's gonna be stupid easy to build a great track around them. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into how I produced this song. I wrote this song with my good friend and collaborator, Sailor Wilterding, who is the vocalist, so this is an original song, but let's get into how it was made. One of the big foundations of the song was this throbbing kind of pulsing bass. And I layered that with a, a, a lot of different elements like other bass hits. And when you throw the percussion in on top of that, it sounds, it sounds really big. And that brings me to the next thing, which is the percussion. There's a lot of percussive elements that I used in this, from these epic trailer drums to just other really cinematic hit sounds. To these other dark impact hits, which has a really great screech on it, which added this really creepy element, and even these really big far low hits. Lots of, lots of trailer hits. One of the things I wanted to do with the song was to make it feel quirky. The whole song is kind of like about becoming a monster and maybe you really are a monster. It was kind of this Halloween style song that we wanted to make. And so we wanted it to feel creepy, but also feel a little funny, a little like ironic. And so one of the ways that we did this was by using a lot of unexpected percussion. And when you put this together, it, it really has a unique feel to it. Like the fact that you got these claps and then used a triangle. The entire start of verse two is literally just drums, the bass, and then this. Which you can kind of hear a little pitch drift. I actually used a plugin to essentially drift the pitch over time. One of the things that was kind of a happy accident in the session was I asked Sailor to laugh. Since this song is supposed to be kind of ironic and funny, at the end of verse two, we kind of had this crazy idea of what if she just literally laughed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I had her say the word, yeah, like a bunch more times at different pitches and kind of ways. Yeah. And then I took her laugh and I used a little altar boy to just mangle the crap out of it. And then it sounds, it sounds like this. <laughs> yeah. When all of that happens, when she says, yeah, you kind of just get everything drops. And that's when it hits for real. We use, I used a bunch of different string elements in here. And in the bridge, we just go full-blown bonkers cinematic style. And you layer that with like all the bass hits and crap, it's crazy. And then I thought, you know what, What's, what else could I do that would just be kind of unexpected? And that was adding in electric guitar. And so I added electric guitars in here as well. And one of the things I want to do with the drums is kind of give it this feeling of like sort of like hip hop sounds, but then cinematic trailer drum sounds at the same time. So this is what the drums sound like. And that is how I made Monster. Now let's build a track around those vocals. Now there are three main elements that every metal song has, which is loudness, distortion, and anger. <laughs> In all seriousness though, let's start with drums. I want to 
crash right there. Yeah. Little open hi-hat action there. And add some little splash and effect symbols in there. Yeah, right there. Ooh. <laughs> That's sick. Now we're gonna need some distorted bass. Oh, you know it'd be so sick. Some like big beefy choirs like <laughs> That's gonna be so sick. Now I'm gonna need some big guitars. I need like a really sick suspenseful riser. That'll work. Now I think I've added most of the elements except for the anger. It needs screams. <laughs> what if I what if I added screams? Now there's this like dark evil sounding laugh over here. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to <laughs> I kind of want to use that again later and like go into like this massive breakdown. <laughs> yeah. What if I added some of those strings back in during that part? Oh, that's going to be so sick. I think that's it. I think I'm ready to send it to Nathan. Real quick, if you ever want to be a part of a producer battle like this and use it as a means to grow in your own skill set as a producer, I'm launching our first ever 30 day producer challenge, which will be starting on February 1st, 2024. You'll get a vocal stem very similar to how we do it in these battles, and you'll be added into a private challenge community with everyone else participating. You'll get exclusive content that I'll be putting up for you, showing in depth how I created my own version of that song, way more in depth than we do in these videos. If you want to know when it's open, just text the word challenge to 1 981 9560. It's on the screen and we'll let you know when it opens up. The moment has come. The time has come. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> when you said you want to make it metal, it was like, yeah, I could totally hear it. We're going to listen to my version first and then, and then we'll see how you demolished it as they lay dying style. <laughs> <laughs> or is it more we came as Roman? I mean, you, you take your pick, whatever. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. This is Monster Nathan's version. Hush, I'm the monster hiding under your bed. You should listen to the voice in your head. Or maybe you could join me instead. Cause there's no way you can run. Hush, I'm the nightmare holding on to your dreams be careful now if you fall asleep cause nothing is as it really seems huh. this could be fun monster monster now that you're a goner welcome to the life Introduce you to your new fate Evil close enough that you can taste it, taste it Creatures never waste it We only have the darkness till it's day And there's no better way to prepare you Than to drive you insane and to scare you To give it a try, a day in the life of a monster What an honor it is just to meet you My pleasure to finally free you From the world of
monster, 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 you can be a monster, I can only wonder what it's like, monster, monster, now that you're a goner, welcome to the light, of a monster. Mm. <laughs> that is so good, though. It's so good, dude. This was one of my favorites to work on. The vocal production was like top notch, top notch, dude. Sailor, sailor, sailor for the win. She's so she's good, ridiculous, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that session was like maybe an hour. Oh my word! I mean, she just yeah, like the whole session was like an hour. Oh, it was insane. Like she just nails everything. It's like three takes. It's like all right, that's it. <laughs> that's and awesome. the laugh, the laugh there was like the laugh, the ha ha ha. Yeah, like that was just like a, hey, what if we did this? And then we tried it. And it was like, that is freaking sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we wrote this song and produced it in two days. Oh. We actually worked on three songs in two days. This was one of them. So we wrote two songs and then another one was a cover. And so we wrote this song on one day. She came in the next day and we did vocals and then it was wow. done. Like it was a very quick turnaround. I, I cannot wait to hear your version. <laughs> uh, it's longer than mine so that's a surprise <laughs> i'm excited to hear i'm i dude i'm jacked i'm freaking stoked all right so the metal version the metal version and if it's good we'll drop it but if it sucks you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <just> kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding i'm kidding all right so here we go here we go i'm a monster hiding under your bed yes. you should listen to the voice in your head or maybe you could join me instead Cause there's no way you can run Hush I'm the nightmare holding on to your dreams Be careful now if you fall asleep Cause nothing is as it really seems This could be fun Monster, monster Now that you're a goner Welcome to the life Hey, let me introduce you to your new fate Evil close enough that you can taste it, taste it Creatures never waste it We only have the darkness till it's day And there's no better way to prepare you Than to drive you insane and to scare you To give it a try, a day in the life string thing.
I love how you like actually took that and then put the cello staccato pattern back in there. Dude, that was sick. Dude, that was such a cool part. I was actually trying to, uh, it actually, I think it was like a happy accident where like I chopped a section and moved it over and then it was still playing. And I'm like, that is so sick. And then I just Dude, left I it. love when that happens. Oh, it's so good. Dude, that happens so much more than people yes, know. So much more. Like these accidental things where you're just like, you do something like, oh shoot, that actually works. You <laughs> yeah. know? I feel like especially the second half of this, it just it hits so hard. I love what you did with the guitar. The last, like this whole last section was just was great. It was awesome, dude. Moment of truth. Comment down below. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you thought. And if you like this battle, I think you'll like this battle here where I took on a multi-Grammy nominated producer, Forrest Whitehead. We'll see you there.